Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I just wanted to drop a new feature on you here. Um, so a lot of, uh, we talk a lot about email uh, deliverability, getting into the inbox, trying to avoid spam, all that good stuff. And we have a lot of awesome features already out there, but one of the cool new things that we've just dropped in the app is email validation. So if you're not familiar with this concept, let's just say I've got a list of a thousand contacts. Well, in that a thousand, maybe uh, 200 of those email addresses are bad. The problem is, is if you try to send to a bunch of bad email addresses, what's gonna happen is if you send too many of them to the same provider, so Gmail or, or Outlook or Yahoo or whatever, they're gonna start to see all of these bad attempts and they're gonna start to downgrade your IP address and they're gonna say, hey, wait a second, this person is clearly either a spammer or sending to a bad list or whatever, and they're gonna start denying your emails or they're gonna start more likely just automatically putting them in the spam because you're sending them to bad email addresses. So how do we fix this issue? So what we can do is through Mailgun, they have a, uh, a email validation API. And basically what it does is before you ever send out to an email address, it actually asks the email server, hey, is this email valid, yes or no? Now, we have this now implemented in the system. Now, quick warning, uh, with different plans, they have different uh, pricing here. So if you go and look, there is, uh, uh, depending on your plan, you'll get a certain number of free validations every month. So I think if we look at the pay-as-you-go plan, it looks like they do 100 validations, and then you can see 1,000 and 5,000, et cetera. And then I think there's a cost. It looks like a uh, dollar for 100 validations. So it's like a penny of validation. So just kind of be aware of that. So what we've done to kind of make this easier is if you go into settings and then into Mailgun, what you're gonna see is you can turn them on per location. So you hit edit next to the mail settings. You can see obviously the API key, the domain, and now there's an email validation uh, flag. So you just switch this on, you hit save, and boom, it's done. Now, once that's done, what happens from there? So basically, any time that the contact gets saved and the email has not been validated, we automatically start validating it. So this could be one-off contacts that get added, new leads that get added, bulk email lists that get uploaded, anything that touches contacts. And let's take a look at kind of how it presents itself throughout the system. So we go into here and we grab a contact, let's say, that has an email address. You can see over here, there's an indicator. So in this case, this email not only is valid, but has been validated. If it's gray, it hasn't been validated yet. Um, this will just primarily be for any of your old email addresses and you can actually one click to force the validation. And then also if the email is invalid, you're gonna get a different, uh, you're gonna get a different color. But you can see here, for example, uh, this email address has not been validated. I click on it, runs the validation. Sure enough, it's a valid email. Uh, we keep going. And then also if you go into the actual contact itself and you go into the contact details screen, you can see here that there's also an indication. So the idea is, you know, net net, when we're sending out uh, emails to people, we're making sure that we're only sending out to valid email addresses. And this is gonna help, not with deliverability, because you're, gonna, you're still gonna get in with a good score on a good email, but then once you're inside, what happens? Does the email provider put you under spam? Do they put you under promotions? So these things are really gonna help with that. So anyways, just wanted to get this out there, let everybody know, it's pretty exciting. So um, if you have any questions, as always, let us know. Thanks.